Oh, hello. How you doing, Club Advisor? So my name is Kenton Lee, and here was a situation that I had. See, I would love to chat with you. I would love to talk to every club advisor here on campus. But I know that you guys are really busy, and it'd be hard to get everyone together. So I thought, what should I do? I know I'll bring the meeting to you through a video. So this is our video meeting about clubs with me, Kenton Lee, and with you, the club advisor. Are you ready? So my name is Kenton Lee, and I am the Assistant Director of Campus Life. I work with Tim Milber in the Office of Student Development, and this year I am so excited to work more closely with our clubs. I really feel that clubs have a worthwhile and important place for the student experience here on campus at NNU, and I'm excited to do all that I can to make clubs bigger and better and uh, just all they can be this year. So to do that, we have three things I want to talk about today. But before we get started with the three very important things I have to say about clubs, I actually have a little side note. So come over here to the side. Um, the side note is we are still trying to figure out all of the correct people who are club advisors on campus. So if you're not a club advisor and you're watching this video, could you please email me who you think is the club advisor who I'm looking for? or uh, maybe someone who, maybe you, you used to work with the club, but now you know that somebody else is working with the club, because I would love to get this information into the right hands. So if you're not the club advisor, if you could let me know who is, that would be great. Okay, let's go back. So here are the three really important things that you need to know about clubs today. And let's start with number one. The first thing, I want to connect with you. I want to connect with your club. So. The more information, the better. Things from who the students are on your leadership team, uh, who, the, who the advisors are who work with the club, who the key students are who are in your club, to you know, your mission statement, your activities, your events, uh, any hopes and dreams you have for this year, the more information, the better. Um, we are trying to improve just the, the information we have. We're trying to improve how much we know about our clubs so that we can then communicate that to the entire campus. So if you can, the very first thing, please communicate with me and let me know who is doing what, what you guys are all about, and what your big plans are for this year. And then I will work hard to better communicate that to the campus. Number two, how do I make my club successful? That's a great question, and it's something that we looked at this summer. And so in the, in the email that I sent you, the attachment there is a resource guide for how to make your club successful. We looked at all the clubs on, on our campus and clubs from other campuses to try to find some common elements of what makes a really good club. And so the attached resource guide has five pillars of what makes clubs successful. Because we want to help you put your club in the best possible position to succeed. We want to put you guys in a position to maximize your impact here on campus. So uh, I would love to connect with you more about how to make your club successful. If you want to email me with any questions, if you want to set up a one-on-one -on -one time to connect, I would love that. But how do you make your club successful? It starts with checking out that resource guide, and then we can go from there. Number three, we want to start this year off with a bang, okay? So usually for clubs, we have one kind of uh, afternoon where in the decks, we allow clubs to have booths where they can share about who they are. Instead of just having one day to do that this year, we're going to have three separate days, September 7th, 8th, and 9th, where we're going to pick specific clubs to be able to be in the student center, to have a booth or whatever they want to do, to be able to present their club to the campus. So by instead of just having one day for everybody, we're now going to have three full days dedicated to, uh, to sharing our, our clubs with the campus. This is going to allow your club to personalize um, your booth is going to allow your club to be able to share your messages with fewer interruptions and fewer distractions and it's just going to be able to, to put your club in a better position to communicate who you are and what you're all about to the campus. And then, so this is September 7th, 8th and 9th, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Then we're going to take that weekend, Friday the 9th, Saturday the 10th, and we're going to encourage every single club to do at least one activity. So we're going right from letting the campus know 
who you are and what you're about to involving the campus and the things that you do. It's just going to be a huge club time. And so uh, we're just going to start the year off with a bang and get students right jumping in with uh, who you are and what you're doing in your club. And we'll send out more, much more information on this uh, coming up soon. But we want to get you excited about this already. We're going to start this year off with a bang. So if you have any questions or comments, please, 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 please contact me. I want to be a resource for you as a club advisor. I want to be a resource for your club. I want to put student leaders in the best possible positions to succeed with clubs and with everything that we're doing here on campus. Uh, we have high hopes for clubs this year, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make that a reality. Um, we really believe in clubs, and we're excited for the impact that they're going to have on our campus this year, 2011-2012. So thanks for your time, and I'd love to communicate with you. I'll talk to you soon. It's my last year here. My first class moved to Portable A under construction since summer, and it's cold.